Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Christy Van with Fantastic Finances and I teach Velocity Banking. So in the last video, we were talking about loans. What is a loan? How does a loan work? And how does the interest and the principal apply when you make a payment on a loan? Well, in this video, we're gonna discuss lines of credit. These are two lending instruments that the bank will offer you when you go in for money that you need. So we need to know what the difference between the loan and the line of credit is. So if you haven't watched the previous video on what is a loan, please go back and review that so that you will know what a loan actually is. And today we're gonna to discuss the lines of credit. Okay, so let's start. A line of credit is a two-way lending instrument. Now, like we said on the amortized loan, it is one payment set, same amount every month, and when you make the payment, it goes in and it's bye-bye, you never see it again, right? Now with a line of credit, it's a two-way. So when you make a payment into a line, you can turn right around and pull money out of the line, such as with a credit card. You can make a payment, then you have access, okay? There's only a payment on a line of credit if there's a balance. So the payment reduces the principal balance, then the interest is charged at the end of the billing cycle. So for example, let's say you went to a restaurant you had a hundred dollar balance then if you don't pay that balance off by the due date then the bank will go back and they will charge interest now they charge interest on an average daily balance so if you didn't have anything on the credit card and you charged a hundred dollars and then you let the hundred dollars sit for the next 15 days then they would average out over the 30 day period. So whatever the average daily balance would be for the whole month, then that's what you would pay interest on. Lines of credit are simple interest. And you'll always notice nearly that a line of credit has a higher interest rate. And we're going to discuss that in the next video. But a credit card might have 18 to 26, 29% interest. So that's why that we were taught stay away from the credit cards, stay away from the lines of credit because that interest is really, really crazy, right? So we're going to discuss that. Uh, the principle of a line of credit is liquid. That means that you can access it at any time. So unlike with the mortgage or a car loan, student loan, once you make a payment, it's gone. It's a one-way lending instrument. But when you make a payment into a line of credit, you have access to the payment that you made, right? That's the difference between a loan and a line of credit is the loan the interest is taken the principles applied and the money's gone in a line you have access to your payments okay a line of credit should only be looked at as a tool a tool that the wealthy use they use lines of credit they leverage the bank's money to buy their assets. So you should only use a line of credit in an emergency or in the acquisition of an asset, okay? That is how you become wealthy. Now, people that I work with through this channel and around my area is people already in credit card debt. So that's why I advertise that, you know, the debt can be paid off very, very quickly when we use lines of credit. Uh, getting people out of debt and getting them into a mindset of using lines of credit is what this channel is about because that helps you to become debt free and then when you move into a financial peaceful area then you can look at uh, obtaining properties of your own by using lines of credit. So let's talk about a credit card. If you have a $12,000 credit card limit, okay, let's say that you have a 
$12,000 balance on this limit of $12,000. You make a payment of $5,000. That brings your balance down to $7,000. Now, do you have access to the $5,000 that you just put in? Absolutely. That's the difference again between the loan and the line. So you do have access to this $5,000 that you can continue to use throughout the month as you need it. So that is what makes the line of credit so beautiful and so easy. Uh, you don't run out and put a new TV on a line of credit. I mean, you can if you need one, uh, but make sure that you are making good decisions with your credit cards, with your lines of credit. If you have a HELOC, you know, don't just splurge. Uh, you are to be gaining wealth by using that line of credit. Remember, a line of credit is a tool. So make good decisions with that. Now, we, and everyone knows, as I just stated, the line of credit always has a higher interest rate. So what about that 21% on that card and that 5.25% on that mortgage? what is the difference there and shouldn't we stay away from a higher interest we're going to talk about that in the next video thank you have a great day and i'll see you in the next video